so I have this printed out now um, and I just printed out all the sizes instead of doing the layers um, because usually by the time I'm done cutting out the large I trim the edges too much and so I cut my pattern piece down to a medium and then I keep trimming the edges and then I, so on and so on it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller until I have the next size down so that's why I keep all of the pattern um, all of the layers on when I'm printing <clears throat> So um, what we want to do next, now that we have it printed, is we want to check that one inch test square. This is important because this will tell you if the size of your pattern that you just printed out, if it's actually accurate for what we need. Um, so I'm going to use this ruler that I have. I thought I had a regular one, but I can't find it. So I'm using my sewing ruler um, and I'm just measuring the edge of that one inch test square. You can see that that's right at one inch and so I know that my my sizing is right on. Sometimes when you print it out, just depending on the pattern designer or um, your printer settings, sometimes it's a little bigger or a little smaller and it does make a difference in the, the overall pattern. So it's important to have that one inch test square um, measure correctly. If you're using a tape measure, um, like a sewing tape measure, those do stretch out over time. So you wanna make sure that you always double check it with something that is more solid, like a ruler or um, or what are they called? The tape measures that you use for measuring stuff that you're working with wood or something. They're called tape measures, but um, for, for more sturdy work. Um, something that's not going to stretch out over time is basically what I'm saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make this one an adult medium. So I'm going to cut out my pattern to the adult medium and I'm just going to cut right along the edges. Now the seam allowance is already included in the pattern piece so you don't need to worry about adding that. Just going to cut right on the edge. All the way around all right so there is my pattern piece and now that I have that I'm going to show you how to lay it out on your fabric so um with this I did not add a grain line or a stretch line typically on a pattern that you print out you're going to see a grain line and a stretch line um, with this one grain line goes with the the width of the fabric stretch line goes the other way it's not important what I'm saying is it's not important for this pattern so you don't need to worry about it because we're using wovens and for for the purpose of what this is it's just it's really not important so um, I actually have no idea what type of fabric this is. I'm pretty sure it's cotton, but um, it was just in my stash and it looks like a, a woven, um, it's thicker. I can breathe through it, so that's what I'm using for this. So what I want to do is I want to lay my fabric out flat and then I'm gonna put my pattern piece on top of my fabric. You can work on, it really doesn't matter which side of the fabric you're working on, um, but I'm just gonna do this. Now, if you have a rotary cutter, that's great. This is a rotary cutter. You just click it on and go around the edges. It's really, really fast and easy, but not everybody who's new to sewing has one of those. So I'm gonna show you a way to do it with something you probably already have, and that's a permanent marker, which I thought I had over here, but now I can't find it. Hold on. Oh, uh, well, here's a pencil. Oh, here's one. I found a permanent marker. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the edge with a permanent marker um, because this is going to be washed before it's worn, so I'm not too worried about it. And just draw around the edge. And this one I use on fabric a lot, so it's kind of worn out. Okay, so there's one, and now I'm gonna do the other one. Now you need two outer and two lining for this pattern. So I'm gonna do my lining and my outer all out of the same fabric. You can barely see that because my marker is just ready to die. A 
little bit farther. Okay. So, um, pretend I do that four times and that is going to, um, to be my, my lining and my outer. I'm going to cut it out now. So just going right around the edge where I drew my line and just cut it out with my scissors. Now, if you're working on the back of the fabric, sometimes it's easier to see what you're doing. You don't have the design on the front. There's that one. I'm gonna get this big piece of fabric out of the way. All right, there it goes. And we'll keep cutting these out. Okay, so there's my outer, and then um, and then we're also going to cut out a lining. I lied, I'm not going to do it all in the same fabric. I'm going to do some on this scrap of fabric that I have. And another way to do this is I like to just fold it in half and do it both at the same time. Um, you can pin it if you want, if you don't have a rotary cutter. Like, set it down and then just pin around it like this and that's perfectly okay um, because then if you're doing more than one layer then you can kind of pick up the fabric and maneuver it around without getting your pattern off too much so I'm just gonna push that in Ouch. you don't need a ton of pins just enough to keep the fabric where it's staying Alright, there are my pattern. It's all cut out, ready to go. Um, take my pins off. And now you can see there I have my two lining pieces and my two outer pieces. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to make your bands. Um, and it's just basically, you know, cutting it, measuring it, um, I do like to use my rotary cutter for this and I just put my ruler down and I just run my rotary cutter right next to it and that's how I do it. Um, if you don't do it that way, it's going to take a little more time to cut all of these lines out. They don't have to be perfect, they just need to be functional. That's that's the main point is that it just needs to be functional. So there is my pattern all cut out and I will continue on um, and get my sewing machine and show you how to sew it together.